Hey guys, on your Mac, you may have noticed this message popping up that Google Drive is actually replacing backup in sync. So that's if you have this installed. So this is what you guys installed from before in order to sync everything that you wanted to sync over to your Google. Anyways, right now what you should do is actually install it. So usually you do suggest waiting a few days to install anything. However, in this case, it's already been a few days. It's actually been a few weeks. So it's okay right now, if you're watching this video, it's about time, so just click on install now. Now, before we do that, if you don't see that message anymore popping up, because that only usually pops out at the start when you just start up your Mac, don't worry about it, just go on the top you will see this arrow here with the cloud icon. Just tap on it. Once you tap on it, you should see this again. Then just press uninstall. From there, we should see this installing Google Drive. We can just click on OK. Just put in your passcode if you have one. And then it's just going to take a couple minutes. So how long does this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. So I can't really tell you how long exactly this will take to install. However, for most of you, it's only going to be a few minutes or even seconds. So right now, we should see this up here where it says Google Drive notifications. We can go to options and we can allow or not allow. In this case, I do want to allow this stuff. Now you don't have to, and you might notice that the icon just changed. So up here, instead of the cloud icon, we're going to see this one. And if we click on it for the first time, it's just going to say loading content. Then it's normal if you see this message popping up again, where it just says Google Drive for desktop is replacing backup and sync. Just sign in on the bottom right hand side, select your account, and then you will see a window popping up. So this window will be on your web browser. Just select again what account you want to choose. From here, we're going to see another message. Just sign in once again. And finally, our last message should say something like this. Just success. Next up, we're going to get this window. This will just pop up. So just click on OK. From there, we should see a screen like so. And just check your folder. So it's on the bottom right hand side. From here, just make sure everything makes sense to you. So in my case, I'm just giving access to my documents and that's all I want to do. I want to keep syncing just my documents folder. So what I'm going to click on is on give access. Once I do that, I should be getting a pop up from my Mac. I'm just going to click on OK and then I'm just going to click on next. Once I do that, it's just going to check my files to sync, which in this case shouldn't take that long. Now, how long will this take? Well, it does depend on how many files you have and how much it has to actually update. In my case, everything's pretty much up to date, so this will not take as long as it's telling me right now. All right, so once this is done, we should see this. Our syncing's all done. We can go on and review our settings. So you should see something like so. Just click on Next. And right here, just set up whatever makes sense to you. In my case, it's just about Google Drive, and that's all I want from this computer. Again, I'm gonna go into Next. And at this point, I'm pretty much done. You can just click on save. So right now, all our settings have been saved. We can just click on OK. Once you click on OK, we're actually officially done at the moment. We can just open up Google Drive for desktop. Once you do so, you might see a pop up like so. And just make sure to click on OK. I'm going to click OK again. And at this point, we are actually officially done. On the top right hand side of your computer, you might see something like so. That just means it's syncing. And that's it. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.